poison a mother-in-law. A long time ago in China, a girl named Lai Lai got married and went to live with her husband and mother-in-law. In a very short time, Lai Lai found that she couldn't get along with her mother-in-law at all. Their personalities were very different, and Lai Lai was angered by many of her mother-in-law's habits. In addition, she criticized Lai Lai constantly. Days passed days, and weeks passed weeks. Lai Lai and her mother-in-law never stopped arguing and fighting. But what made the situation even worse was that, according to ancient Chinese tradition, Lai Lai had to bow to her mother-in-law and obey her every wish. All the anger and unhappiness in the house was causing the poor husband great distress. Finally, Lai Lai could not stand her mother-in-law's bad temper and dictatorship any longer, and she decided to do something about it. Lai Lai went to see her father's good friend, Mr. Huang, who sold herbs. She told him the situation and asked if he would give her some poison so that she could solve the problem once and for all. Mr. Huang thought for a while, and finally said, Lai Li, I will help you solve your problem, but you must listen to me and obey what I tell you. Lai Lai said, Yes, Mr. Huang, I will do whatever you tell me to do. Mr. Huang went into the back room and returned in a few minutes with a package of herbs. He told Lai Lai, you can't use a quick-acting poison to get rid of your mother-in-law, because that would cause people to become suspicious. Therefore, I have given you a number of herbs that will slowly build up poison in her body. Every other day, prepare some delicious meal and put a little of these herbs in her serving. Now, in order to make sure that nobody suspects you when she dies, you must be very careful to act very friendly towards her. Don't argue with her, obey her every wish, and treat her like a queen. Lai Lai was so happy. She thanked Mr. Huang and hurried home to start her plot of murdering her mother-in-law. Weeks went by, months went by, and every other day, Lai Lai served the specially treated food to her mother-in-law. She remembered what Mr. Huang had said about avoiding suspicion, so she controlled her temper, obeyed her mother-in-law, and treated her like her own mother. After six months had passed, the whole household had changed. Lai Lai had practiced controlling her temper so much that she found that she almost never got mad or upset. She hadn't had an argument in six months with her mother-in-law, who now seemed much kinder and easier to get along with. The mother-in-law's attitude toward Lai Lai changed, and she began to love Lai Lai like her own daughter. She kept telling friends and relatives that Lai Lai was the best daughter-in-law one could ever find. Lai Lai and her mother-in-law were now treating each other like a real mother and daughter. Lai Lai's husband was very happy to see what was happening. One day, Lai Lai came to see Mr. Huang and asked for his help again. She said, Mr. Huang, please help me to stop the poison from killing my mother-in-law. She's changed into such a nice woman, and I love her like my own mother. I do not want her to die because of the poison I gave her. Mr. Wang smiled and nodded his head. Lai Lai, there's nothing to worry about. I never gave you any poison. The herbs I gave you were vitamins to improve her health. The only poison was in your mind and your attitude toward her. But that has been all washed away by the love which you gave to her.